Hey guys, hey, this is Nay. Follow me on IG, Periscope, Twitter, Spreaker, and support me on Patreon and Nay Rob on YouTube. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, comment respectfully, and subscribe. For all Swan Bangle inquiries, go to Swan Bangles on Instagram or hit the links below. Now, let's talk about the Queen's Court. Where did it go? Hold on. Sister, you all right? No, I call you Mark. You gone? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Where is it? Where, where is it? She's in Oklahoma. Hold on. Let me get, let me get this thing situated right here. Hold on. Y'all yeah, know, bitch. I I would go live. And we'll carry on and it wouldn't even, it don't even matter. Where was that thing that left? Okay, at this point right here, this is when my heart broke for Maddie because it was obvious that she was flustered. She needed the support of her, air quote, sister because, believe me, if it was my sister and she was flustered and I seen her like that as the role of the big sister, it may be just a big sister thing, but I'd be rubbing her back and be like, sis, we got this.
Okay, so I had to stop that because I couldn't deal with Monique Negro spiritual speaking ass. I can't stand her with that. My sister, my brother, uh, sounding like a, a, a freedom rider and a pimp at the same time. You know, what's the name of that pimp that was in that movie? I want to be your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your girlfriend, your uncle, your dog, your cat, all of that. But I'm very disappointed in... Kaya because Kaya you speak with too much let me say okay you talk about too many people too harshly for you to break that easily for you to get that disheveled so quick because things aren't going your way and you know what I've learned that over the years when I find myself in situations where I'm losing control I just stop I take a deep breath and I put my head somewhere else. I mean, sometimes I be in my brain thinking like, I'm about to go get me some cheese biscuits from Red Lobster. I really love how deep y'all get into our show. Wow. We have really touched y'all lives in a major way. Amazing. And from the basement. Damn. We had technical difficulties. And I'm a perfectionist. Stuff happens on set. And you get to see it live. No edit. I'm not embarrassed for that in the least bit. If you got up out of your car for every bump in the road to success, you will never make it to the destination. Girl, hashtag the Queen's Court will be back Monday or hell. I might do a Friday session. Who knows? Laugh out loud. It's our show. Our rules. Thanks for the commentary. We've been trending all oh, Now, night. I believe that Maddie's not really bothered about um, her getting emotional in front of like hundreds of thousands of people, you know, and by the time it's all done, it's going to have millions of views from people copying it and, you know, building, uploading it their own way. I, I, I see that, you know, and I understand that because her being who she is she had to endure much worse. Child, I know I'm looking like last night, honey, bitch. But I'm finna pull it together. I'm finna wash this good puss. But let me, let me break something down for y'all real quick. Is this thing on? First of all, let me let y'all know something, bitch. The Queen's Court has a full production in this motherfucker. Full production. A dedicated, dedicated internet for the Queen's Court, bitch. I took care of all that yesterday. So when I told you we had technical difficulties, bitch, it was because a new program that I bought yesterday to make sure that we were able to do the shit. But this is the set. Bitch, this is the set, bitch. We don't need no crowdfunding, bitch. We got all the shit in this motherfucker. We don't need no crowdfunding, bitch. This is how I go. Monitors, cameras, lights, all of the things. It was just a mishap last night, bitch. See y'all hoes Monday, okay? The Queen's Court, bitch. Yes. Pocahontas smiles. Kaya, I hope you go back so you can roast Monique next week. Kaya Thug Misses at Pocahontas Smiles. Fuck Monique. This has nothing to do with Monique. This was all on fake-ass production. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. 
keep them now, punks did not out tell your y'all, house. I don't like the way Kaya talks about people or, you know, the community. I don't like that. Kaya's ridiculous with how she speaks on them. When I say calling people gazoos and blouses and punks. And I think somebody said, nay, um, Maddie corrected her on the terminology and things like that. No, ma'am. It's still derogatory. It's still hateful. It's still... Disrespectful. Michael Mitchell, listen, everyone is grown. No one is going to go into work and be made a fool of. I wouldn't allow myself to be filmed. Laptops falling, no connection, and all the pretend and all this pretend production who can't produce just standing and looking. Kaya walked off to send a message. She will not tolerate this foolishness. Next case. Kaya is saying keeping the punks out your house and hire someone who we can hold accountable. And Kaya responds to Michael Mitchell in that order. Let me say something about Kaya. One thing that I did notice that like back a couple of episodes back when they were still upstairs before they went downstairs, I noticed that Kaya would have her moods. You know, it was certain days that she just, or certain Mondays that she just didn't feel like being bothered. And I could tell that Maddie had to pull it out of her, you know. But one thing about the Scorpio, Scorpio respects strength. When you show weakness, they can become disrespectful to you. They they only respect Someone who can stand firm in their shits. And one thing that I say about a Scorpio, man or woman, whether they wrong or right, up or down, evil, good, they will stand in their BS and they will not back down from it. Whereas the Libra, Maddie, we can be extremely catering. We try to go over and beyond to try to make things work. And the Scorpio doesn't really respect that because they view that as weak. So it, it, the dynamic, I didn't understand quite frankly how it worked, but it looked like how it worked is because Maddie, to me, it looked like how it worked is because Maddie was more so the person to try and make it work because she understands that they have something special there and she wants it to work. Now, Kaya just seems like a lot of things that happen for her eventually explode anyway because of just her mouth. Because I was watching Funky Dineva and Funky Dineva said the same thing that I said. That basically Kaya tells a lot of lies on people that, you know, she makes up things. I said it. I said I thought that 99% of the stuff that Kaya says, she just wake up in the middle of the morning or the middle of the night and be like, oh, you know what? I'm going to tell that lie on that person or I'm going to say this on that person. You know, I, I I don't take nothing she says for serious. I really don't. And I don't think nobody should. But I think Maddie understands that the Queen's Court is a gold mine. But if it ends, it's not going to end because of Madison. It's going to end because of Kyle. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, comment respectfully, and subscribe. Now, remember this. The same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people you meet on the way down. Naysayers, my patron loves, have a good one. Deuce.